Hello, this is Stefan from the More 3D Tech team again. In this quick tutorial, we will look at how to enable the interactive plant simulation interface with the Movis software. The interface allows to trigger scripted objects from within the Movis VR environment to allow for their execution inside of plant simulation. So, let's run through the basics real quick first. The first thing you want to have is Morvis. Morvis should be installed and ready for operation on your computer. You should have Plant Simulation enabled in the Application Enabler. Like this. Place the check mark here and you're good to go. The next thing that you want to have is an installation of Plant Simulation 2201 and you want to have the patch provided by Plant Simulation. You simply take the contents of the patch and copy them all over into your Plant Simulation directory, replacing all the files in there. Once you have done that, there is another step to do. You open the Morvis settings. You go to Custom Launchers and you add Plant Simulation on here. To do so, simply click the plus button, click the folder button and now navigate to your Plant Simulation directory. Choose the Plant Simulation EXE file and click Open. It will be automatically added to the list. And now you want to add a custom argument, which is minus control socket port double point 3111 and click Apply. Now we can start looking into how it really looks. So you want to boot up your VR device. In my case, it's an uh, HP Reverb G2. I launch the Windows Mixed Reality. I launch Steam VR. I make sure my controllers are enabled. And in the next step, I start I quickly check my Morvis client settings. Okay, I need to quickly... Uh, I put my pixel density up a bit for a better visualization. And for collaboration, I'll give myself a proper name real quick. I click Apply. I close the settings. I minimize uh, the mixed reality portal. I start the Morvis client. And now I start plant simulation through the newly created um, startup option. Next, we load our 3D model. We quickly check the model settings and put this threshold value to zero. And we can start entering the environment. To now operate items on the, in the VR environment, simply open the in VR menu and go to the laser line and select the select option. Now point the laser at any geometry and pull the trigger to trigger it. So I can now start the simulation and I can switch it back to real time. And just like this, I can operate all of my plant simulation objects from within the VR environment. Additionally, of course, I have the full feature set of the Marvis software available. 
I can, for instance, uh, draw something here. I can place custom markers and add a bit of text to them. I can place a second marker. Add text. And of course, I can then teleport in between them. Further, I can measure distances by selecting the measure two or three points option, pointing the laser at any place, pulling the trigger to set the first marker indicator, and then again for the second. So distance I have measured is 8 meter 03. And you can clearly see it's from this place over to this. And of course I can use my camera to take a picture from the VR scenery. And this will be saved in my pictures directory of my Windows user. All right, that's it for today. If you have any trouble, Feel free to contact us at support at more3d.com or simply give us a call. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.